Hello and welcome to Bev and Sham's Adventures. We take you around some of the sights in Paris. The Eurostar runs between St Pancras in London to Paris Gare du Nord, taking about two hours either way. On our way to the Louvre, we stop to have a crepe. This friendly guy making the crepe can be found outside Palais Royal Musée de Louvre metro station, if I've pronounced that correctly. We chatted to him while he made our chosen flavoured crepe. This is our favourite spot in Paris, just admiring the architecture and watching the people go by. At the base of the pyramid is one of the entrances. We'll show you the lobby on the way down in a moment. The original building of the Louvre was built in the 12th to 13th century and was originally a castle until it became a palace for residing French kings. When Louis XIV moved out, it became a museum to display the royal collection. It later started to display national masterpieces. This is another entrance into the Louvre from inside the shopping centre. This entrance is via the pyramids outside, bringing you down into the main entrance. If you haven't purchased your ticket, then proceed to the ticket counter before dropping your personal belongings in the cloakroom. That's the ticket office just there. And that's the cloakroom. We would recommend obtaining a map of the Louvre to help you navigate. The Mona Lisa is clearly the busiest and popular artwork within the museum. We are now returning to the cloakroom to collect our belongings. On your return, just remember where your locker is and follow the instructions to unlock the locker with your PIN code you set earlier. The Eiffel Tower stands at 324 metres and was built between 1887 to 1889. The structure is made from wrought iron in a unique lattice design. To get good views of Paris, you can take the steps or take the lift to the top. Notre Dame was built in the 13th century and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Paris. The Arc de Triomphe is built with limestone rock and is a commemoration for those who fought and died during the French Revolution and Napoleonic War. Beneath the structure is a vault which lays the tomb of the unknown soldier from World War I. Our last stop in Paris is Flame de la Liberté. Beneath the bridge is where Princess Diana died in that fateful car accident. The Flame de la Liberté is the unofficial memorial to her. That's it from us in this video, subscribe to our channel and we look forward to seeing you in our next adventure.